This is ABC. Care Bears Countdown. Four, three, two, one. Who's that coming from somewhere up in the sky? Moving fast and bright as a firefly. Just when you think the trouble's gone out of house, who's gonna be there when it really counts? Do that care bears count down and send a wish out to the air. And send a wish out to the air. Just do that care bears count down. Just when you need them, they'll be there. Just when you need them, they'll be there. Don't be afraid when clouds are brewing in your heart. Can dream, just send a wish out in the dark. Can do that care bears countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> well, right hard. <sighs> This is what we get for building a refrigerator with legs. But it was such a great idea. A fridge that had come to us instead of us going to it. Well, it's coming to us, all right. Jump right hard. <laughs> Help! Help! Get me away from this... this... robot! A robot? I knew it all the time. The poor thing! I wonder how long he's been stuck here. By the looks of all that rust, a long time. Hey, Grumpy, I've got an idea. Oh, no. Not another one, Brightheart. With me doing the thinking and you doing the tinkering, we could have this guy up and running in no time. Yeah, just like the refrigerator. Don't worry, Grumpy. This time I'll think of everything. No, Brightheart, I... Friday the 13th. Oh, boy. What am I gonna do? Today is Noart's 200th birthday. Or is it 300th? Whatever. I still can't think of a present for him. Hmm. Oh, I know. I could get him a pair of alligator shoes with real teeth. Oh, no, even better. I could get him that snappy lizard tail tie to match the one I got him last. No, oh, I give up. Oh, boy. What do you get for a sorcerer who hates everything? A real live robot. Huh? Oh, you will be a live robot when we get you all fixed up. That's it. The perfect gift. Not even Nohar has his very own robot. <laughs> He's going to be absolutely miserable! <laughs> oh, I give up. I've tried everything, but I still can't get him going. What happens if we push some of these buttons? Brightheart, no! Lightning! Lightning! Take cover! The lightning chases me! It will turn me off! Don't be afraid. It was just a little short circuit. I am active again. Thank you, whoever you are. It was our pleasure. I'm Brightheart Raccoon, and this is Grumpy Bear. My name is Cubot. I am a multifunctional robot. Wow, you sure have a lot of gadgets in there. Agreed. But I am missing one part. Whatever part you're looking for, there's bound to be one around here. Somewhere. And if we can't find one, we'll make you one. The part I'm looking for is very special. It's called a heart. A heart? Cubot cannot feel. You will give me a heart so I can feel love and caring. 
Well, a heart's not that easy, Cubot. I mean, well, uh, tell him, Grumpy. Uh, me? Oh, well, uh, we can't build you a heart because, uh, Brightheart can't draw up the plans. Me? I can draw up the plans for anything you can build. And I can build anything you can draw up. Then you can build me a heart. Huh? Thank you. To show my appreciation, I will do good deeds for all your friends. Oh, that's just great. How are we gonna build Cubot a heart? I don't know, but we'd better get started. A robot with no heart? Oh, no heart's gonna love it. Yeah! <laughs> oh? Or hate it, or because hate is love, and love is no, no heart. Loves what he hates, and hates what he hates to love. Oh. to plant a forest. Huh? <laughs> Up and toad bumps! How'd you do that? I am Cubot. I can do anything. Hey! Come back here! Oh, that little genius is as good as caught now. Catching gets tougher every year. There. A little tin heart for a little tin guy. He'll love it. I don't know, Grumpy. I still think Cubot's expecting a real heart. Don't be silly, Brightheart. How can anyone make a real heart? Greetings. Is that my heart? There you go. Your very own heart. Cubot still does not feel caring. Why? Well, it's not a feeling heart, Cubot. A feeling heart isn't something anyone can build. It's just a name we give to all the love and caring everyone has deep down inside. Everyone but me. I understand. Hearts cannot be installed into machines like me. I think I broke this one. I am sorry. Wait, Cubot. Don't go. Thank you for trying, Care Bears. I will never forget you. Oh, that's too bad. 
He's afraid of lightning. Let's go, birthday present. <laughs> Please don't let the lightning touch me. <laughs> let go. Oh, I'm running out of time. Oh, I'll never get him off. I've got to find no hard and easier present. Fast! Cubot! Hey, Cubot! Where, Where are, are you? you? <laughs> I'm saved! Two Care Bears are better than one frightened robot any day. <laughs> Cubot! We were so worried about you. Where have you been? With me! <laughs> Let us out of here, beastly! No heart's gonna be just as surprised as you guys! Help! You let my friends go, or I'll... Oh! Or I'll... You what? You're too afraid of lightning to move, let alone save your furry friends. <laughs> Must try to save my friends. They need my help. No! No! Go back, Cubot! Go back! The lightning! It's too dangerous! <laughs> hey! Lego! Lego, 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 Lego! Well, no one can have too many lizard tail ties. You did it! You really saved the day, Cubot. And us. I... I care for you. You cared so much that you risked being turned off to save us. And if all that caring doesn't prove that you do have a heart, then I'll hang up my tummy symbol. This time I do feel something. A warm, wonderful feeling. Right here. I really do have a heart. You always did, Cubot. You always did. giveaway and you could win because in every box of my Kevin Crunch cereal there's a secret decoder and if yours says you win I won! I won! instantly yeah. to enter free right great toy giveaway box 4735 Young America Minnesota 55399 thousands of letter a hundred a win it's the great toy giveaway got a secret treasure to keep safe you can keep it in a keeper the snail, Tango the ladybug, and Sheldon the turtle are keepers. Fun friends with a secret hiding place, each sold separately. And each keeper comes with its own finder, Twist, Nightlight, and Footloose. Keepers, keepers, keep the safe inside. Fancy and Footloose, Tango and Twist, Sheldon and Nightlight, each sold separately with brush, key, and storybook from Tonka. Hey kids, guess who's back in town? 
Hey, kids, it's me, the Spring Bunny. I had lots of fun telling you about my Easter adventures, and I've got so much more to tell you. Call me today, and I'll tell you a fantastic springtime story. All my forest friends will be here, too. We can't wait to share our warm weather fun and discoveries with you. There's a new story every day, so call today. Remember, get your parents' permission before you dial. Two dollars per call. Hey, watch me kick Prince Coco Pebbles. But the heck? Oh, oh, Rock, rock stone. Coco Pebbles have that chocolatey taste. Go, Fred. Got to have Coco. Ooh, chocolatey Coco. Coco Pebbles are Coco Muscle. Got to have Coco. Uh-oh, this rock's got to roll. That was Cocoa Pebbles cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast. Yabba dabba delicious. Walt Disney Pictures presents two special friends, Todd. I'm a fox. And Copper. I'm a hound dog. Two friends playing together. One, two, three. Two friends who don't know they're supposed to be enemies. Oh, dear. Run, Joe, run. It's one of Disney's most wonderful adventures, and you can only see it at a theater near you. You better believe it. It's the Fox and the Hound. Rated G. Now playing at a theater near you. Check newspaper for showtimes. Hey, Blooper, what happens when you throw a green rock into the Red Sea? Looks like a good camping spot. And that's the truth. Hmm. It's really beautiful up here. Help! Help! <gasps> Listen, someone's in trouble. Braveheart to the rescue! Charge! Whoa! <laughs> What? <laughs> How's the water, Braveheart? Ha, ha, ha. Very funny. Playful Heart Funshine. It sounded like you were in trouble. We were just playing a joke on you. As usual. Calling for help when you don't need it is no joke, Playful Heart. What's that? Relax, lots of heart. It's only an owl. <laughs> of course, an owl. What else could it be? Oh, uh, sorry. Well, maybe I shouldn't be telling you this, but we're right near Scary Swamp. Oh. Legend has it that Scary Swamp is the home of the swamp monster. <laughs> now, this swamp monster is said to be ten feet tall, with slimy green hair and long, <gasps> sharp teeth. <laughs> Once in a while, the monster would leave the swamp and visit the forest. There, the swamp monster would wait until some unsuspecting camper passed by. Then, he'd jump out and gobble them all up. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Don't worry, you two. The swamp monster is only a legend. Yeah, it's not real. Oh, 
should have known. That's not very funny, Playful Heart. You're right. It's hilarious. <laughs> you two should be ashamed of yourselves. Oh, look at our tents. Oh, well, I guess we'll be sleeping under the stars tonight. This pillow's as hard as a rock. Oh. <sighs> Good morning, lots of heart. It's a wonderful morning, Braveheart. Did oh. you sleep well? Awful. Help! Hugs and tugs. Where are they? They're off picking wildflowers. <gasps> Swamp Monster? Charge! <gasps> oh, no! Not again! <laughs> I told you Braveheart would fall for it again. You two have got to stop fooling around like that. One day you'll really need help, and no one will come running. And that's the truth. Gee, Playful Heart. No one thought it was very funny this time. What if sometime we really do need their help? Help? <laughs> Why would we ever want their help? <laughs> help! Help! The real Swamp Monster is after us! Help! Those troublemakers! Oh, they just don't know when to quit. And that's the truth! <laughs> Help! The Swamp Monster is after us! Listen, Tugs, that's Playful Heart and Funshine. They're in trouble, Hugs. We've got to save them. What about the Swamp Monster? I'm not afraid of any Swamp Monster. I'm a big Care Bear. Come on, let's go! <laughs> Another one of my jokes. Rawr. <gasps> the Swamp Monster! We're Rawr. trapped! Oh. <gasps> oh, thanks. Playful Heart and Funshine should be back by now. Do you think they might really be in trouble? No. Brave Heart, lots of heart. Where are hugs and tugs? I don't know. Let's go find him. I'm not afraid of you. Whoa! <laughs> A teeny weeny care bear takes me on while the big ones are shaking in their booties. <laughs> it's Mr. Beastly. No heart's gonna be so happy when I bring him four Care Bears. You won't get away with this, Beastly. Oh, yes, I will. I even tricked you with your own joke. You thought I was a real swamp monster. <laughs> huh? Well, it's... The, the, it's the real swamp monster! <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. It's Hugs and Tugs Flower Basket. Where can they be? Ah! Huh? Swamp Monster! Oh, oh. The Swamp Monster! The Swamp Monster! Whoa! No! The Swamp Monster! The Swamp Monster! Whoa! Come on. 
monster! While the swamp monster goes after them, I'm getting out of here! Nice of you to drop in, Beastly. Drop in? <laughs> That's funny! <laughs> the swamp monster's after me! And that's not funny! Need a hand? Beautiful heart! Fun shine! <gasps> the Swamp Monster! Hi, I'm Bob. Bob? He's our friend. He helped us out of the big hole. B -b but I look after this part of the forest. I make sure the trees are straight and clean up the mess after the campers leave. But why haven't we seen you before? <laughs> Cause I'm shy. <laughs> We'd like to thank you for saving us from Mr. Beastly. And for teaching us that if you play with people's friendship, they might not be there when you really need them. And because you take such loving care of the forest, we'd like to make you an honorary Care Bear. Well, golly, thank you. It's real pretty. Bye-bye. And keep caring. <laughs>
believe it, large human. The power of the future is in your hands. Batteries not included. Jets, figures, and new interactive videotapes each sold separately from Captain Power and the soldiers of the future. Everything all right in here? Yes, Nanny. Gonzo, uh, me fox, me fox. <laughs> Eleven o'clock. Thanks, animal. That was cool. Welcome. Gosh, a whole hour till lunch. Oh, I can't wait. Me neither. Me neither. I know. We can sneak into the kitchen and get some food. <gasps> Shame on you, Skeeter. Nanny told us never to take snacks without asking. Oh, uh, she won't mind, as long as we eat our lunch. You'll get caught for sure. Then we'll all get in trouble. Not if we do an impossible mission. Huh? Watch. Should you choose to accept it, is to sneak into the kitchen and get us all some snacks. As usual, should you or any of your Muppet Impossible Force be caught, I'll tell Nanny I had nothing to do with it. My nose will self-destruct in two seconds. Huh? Come on, Scooter. We've got an impossible mission to do. Impossible mission? Sneaking snacks is big trouble, Skeeter. You're going to get caught! Come on! Hold it, Skeeter. There's a guard. If we move past the living room, we'll be spotted for sure. Not if we disguise ourselves. Huh? Here, put this on. Oh, good idea. <laughs> Shh. Phew. We made it! Now all we need to do is get the food and get out of here. It's stuck. Any explosives? Sure you do. Give me your bubble gum. Huh? Hey, that's my last piece. the wind. Something must have happened to them. It's been ten minutes. I told you they were going to get caught. Woo! We're, we're back. back. Oh, oh, boy. Boy. 
Did you get the snacks? Yeah, I'm starving. Hungry, hungry. <laughs> There's plenty for everyone. Oh, no, you don't. Hey, give it back. What? Someone around here has got to keep all of you from getting in trouble. I'm taking these snacks right back to the kitchen. Oh, sure. And just how do you expect to sneak back into the kitchen without getting caught? Simple. better than to sneak snacks between meals. But uh, I wasn't sneaking snacks, Nanny. I was... Now, Piggy, don't make things worse by telling fibs. But Piggy's telling the truth, Nanny. Skeeter and I... Yes. Ow! That's kind of you to try to cover up for her, Scooter. But Piggy has to learn to take responsibility for what she does. But, Nanny... To make up for what you've done, Piggy, you'll have to clean up your mess and the rest of the kitchen, too. But... No buts. And, Scooter, I want you and Skeeter to make sure Piggy does a good job. Huh? You can count on us, Nanny. Get to work, Piggy. Gosh, we ought to help Piggy. After all, we're the ones who are going to eat the snacks. No way, Ralph. Nanny said Piggy has to do it all by herself. <gasps> Nanny said, this isn't fair. Why should I have to clean up this whole mess by myself? You'd think I was Cinderella or something. Piggerella! Piggerella! Huh? Step Scooter, what are you doing? Do I have to wear this silly thing? What's wrong with it? It's a dress. That's what's wrong with it. I'm a boy, remember? So what, Scooter? In the story, Cinderella had two step sisters. They're getting stuck. Okay, okay. Piggerella, aren't you finished cleaning the kitchen yet? Well, um, I'm almost done. Well, hurry up. You gotta clean the chimney next. The chimney? Who ever goes in the chimney? Animal, there's no Santa Claus in this story. Sorry. Pigarella? Yes, Step Nanny? You'd better have this place cleaned up before lunchtime, or no lunch for you. Yes, Step Nanny. <laughs> What was that? Uh, nothing, Step Nanny. <coughs> I thought I had a, a fly on my tongue. <coughs> uh. And so, the beautiful Pigarella cleaned and cleaned and cleaned and cleaned while her Step Nanny and Step Sisters went off to play. You never know when the big bad wolf might turn up. Door to door sales bear. Door to door sales bear? Uh huh. I'm selling vacuum cleaners. Really? Come right in. Wow. You think you could uh, clean up this mess? Are you kidding? My new super suction vacuum cleaner can clean up anything. I'll show you.
After you help us get dressed, you've got more cleaning to do. And so, Pigarella dressed her stepsisters for the ball. This is humiliating, Skeeter. I'm not wearing a dress to the party. Okay, then. You can always go without it. Huh? Okay, okay, I'll wear it. you go any faster, Pigarella? We don't want to be late for the bowl. <sighs> there. All done. Now can I go to the ball with you, Step Nanny? Please? I'm afraid not. You couldn't possibly go wearing rags like that. Oh, yeah. Hurry, hurry! The carriage is waiting! Maybe you could just fix this one, huh? 
Let me have a look at that. Aha! Just as I suspected. There you go. Try it now. Hey! Feels okay. Let's see. Now take me back to Piggy Shack. Sorry. And you shape up, Gonzo. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. The fairy god Rino had come to turn Picarella's rags into a beautiful gown so she could go to the ball. You better get it right this time or you're in trouble. Trust me. Voila! Oh, Yippee Skippy, that's more like it. Let me see. Uh, next I'm supposed to turn a pumpkin. To a coach. Uh-oh. I don't see any pumpkins. How about a tomato? They make much better coaches. Yeah! Wow! A four-speed tomato coach with power windows, mad wheels, and a dumb bear. Oh, this thing works better than I thought. Don't forget, Tigarella. Your dress will turn back into rags. Your coach will turn back into a tomato, and your driver becomes a lousy comedian again at the stroke of seven. Precisely. Seven? I thought that was all supposed to happen at midnight. Don't be ridiculous. We can't stay up that late. We're just kids. Oh. Hey, how am I supposed to get this thing out of here? No problem. <laughs> If only a beautiful pig would arrive so I could fall in love with her. I know it sounds kind of silly to me, too. But don't forget, this is Piggy's imagination. I, uh... Get out of here, Skeeter! Hit it, Wolf! Okay! One, two, one, two, three, four! Check me out! What? I'm the girl you should keep her yes. Wow! Look at me so fair! How could you ever refuse? Well, I am, um... Uh, beautiful Piggerella. 
um, um, well... Uh... Oh, dear! It's almost seven! Oh, I've got to be going. Uh, let's see now. Um, will you marry me? so we can marry and live happily ever after. You want to marry a foot? No, not the foot. The person who owns the foot. I must confess, that shoe belongs to... Hey, I think I want that shoe. I'm sure it'll fit my foot. Here. Here. Oh, no. Wearing a dress is bad enough, but I'm not marrying any frog. Actually, that Kenny belongs to... Me try. Good Hey, cut it out! Being fair, guys, we all snuck the snacks and Piggy took the blame. But Nanny told us not to help her. That's because Nanny thought Piggy did it. She didn't know the truth. Ralph's right. We did it, and we're the ones who should be cleaning up this mess. Well, what are we waiting for? Huh? What are you doing? What we should have done in the first place. What? I thought I told you kids that Piggy was supposed to clean up by herself. You did, Nanny. But that was because you thought Piggy snuck the snacks. And she didn't. That's right. Scooter and I were the ones who took the snacks. You did? Yeah. And the rest of us were going to eat them, Nanny. All except Piggy, that is. She knew it was wrong from the very start. Really? Uh-huh. Well, I guess I owe you an apology, Piggy. I'm sorry I didn't trust you. That's okay, Nanny. Now it's my turn to make up for my mistake. I'm going to fix all of you a wonderful fruit salad. Yeah. Oh, boy. But you don't have to make it, Nanny. Your fairy god weirdo will do it with this magic wand. Presto! Oh, Gonzo. I always knew I was a little fruitcake. Didn't you? <laughs> Hi, Kiki here from Are You Afraid of the Dark? Stay tuned to Nickelodeon because tonight Nick is Snick. And that means another meeting of the Midnight Society. You won't want to miss it. It all starts at 8, 7 central, only on Snick. Now, stay tuned for more Muppet Babies, next on Nick. Roger, up 
here at 30,000 feet. Those kids can't make me go cuckoo for the yummy, chocolatey taste of Cocoa Puffs, a delicious part of this complete breakfast. Uh oh. Sonny, want some munchie? Munchie. Crunchy. Crunchy. Oh. Chocolatey Cocoa oh. Puffs. I'm bailing out. Yahoo! I'm cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Bringing fun from outer space and landing in your town. The most big beige girl around. New Spectra and Spark. Shiny pink skin. Lacy space wear. Spectra, I'd love to fix your sparkling hair. Now we're ready. For your welcome to Earth party. Dolls sold separately. Sparks spinning all around. Wow. Spectra, the most big beige girl in town. Spectra and Spark. Sold together or sold separately. Spectra. News from Mattel. Sure, we all love these new peanut butter and fudge giggles cookies. The faces are really, uh... Amusing. Yeah, amusing. And the two kinds of cream peanut butter and fudge are really... Excellent. Excellent. But those giggles commercials when kids are laughing, slapping tables, it just doesn't happen. New peanut butter and fudge giggles cookies. Two kinds of cream in each funny face. It doesn't happen. Ah! It happens. Let this go.